What if, what if, what if? What happens if? You can go through your whole life missing opportunities because your first question when an opportunity shows up is, but what if? What happens if? Where will I? How will I? Opportunity doesn't always wait for you to have all your ducks in a row. On occasion, or rather usually, opportunity presents itself when you're ready. Not when you've got the education you need. Not when you've got a lifetime's worth of experience. Those what ifs that you get when an opportunity presents itself can be the thing that stops you from achieving your maximum potential. Doesn't matter if it's business, if it's your faith, if it's your school, if it's your relationships, whatever it is, if that's what you want to do, do it. Simple as that. Decide that you're going to do it and the other stuff will work itself out. I have been very fortunate in my life that I decide I'm doing things and then just do them. Which is very frustrating for a lot of people around me who they struggle with what ifs. They want to know how it's going to happen. They want to know all the details. I'm not very good with details. And that's okay. I married someone who's much better at that than me. However, I am a visionary. And when I want to do something, I expect that it's going to happen. And it's not always in my time. You know, a lot of the time, things just don't happen when I want them to. Sometimes they happen later, sometimes they happen sooner. But they happen because I expect them to. I believe 100% that if you expect things to happen a certain way, they will. I can't prove it. You guys have watched The Secret or read The Secret. Now, some of the stuff in The Secret seems a little bit hokey. I gotta admit, it's... Some of it I was just a bit... It's a bit touchy-feely for me. And I'm a touchy-feely guy. But the principles are sound. The principles are sound. If you write down the things you want in life and review them, they'll come. As long as you review them and you work towards them, A lot of them will come, not all of them, because we can't have everything we want. But the only things that hold us back are us. The people we love most quite often can hold you back because they want the best for you. They want you to not get hurt. They don't want you to be disappointed. And if you take that on board, you live your whole life in fear of failure, then you're probably not gonna be successful. I know that sounds a little harsh. But that's true, right? Bill Gates, he, he, he was a quitter. He left college because it just wasn't his thing. He wanted to go play with his computer things. Right? I'm sure everybody around him thought he was insane for doing that. But that wasn't his way. A lot of people say you need to have education. You need to have, you know, a degree. You need to do all these things. Do 10 years of extra schooling to be able to run a business, to run your company. Most of the, mo most of the wealthiest people in the world didn't go the education route. You need, you need to hire smart people, hire smart people. Because guaranteed, those are probably not the people who are gonna drive your business. Because it's a different frame of mind. It's a frame of mind that says, I'm gonna go get this despite the obstacles. Because the obstacles don't matter. They mean nothing if your dream is big enough. And if your willingness to achieve those dreams is big enough. If your work ethic is big enough then there's nothing that can stop you. So there's my thought for the day. Have a good day.